Hello students, welcome back. My name is Ivanshu and in this video we are going to have an understanding about the end command which is very important. Uh, what is end command? It, and it is very easy to understand because in Excel also uh, we use this particular method. Uh, so how to do that? I am just giving you one demonstration let's say I'm in a1 cell right now and I want to reach to the end of this particular uh, document up till the label where it is filled so what we generally do we press control and down arrow key like I'm pressing control and down arrow key so I've reached to the end of this particular document or you can say up to the level where it is filled and if I want to go to the right direction then control right arrow key up direction control up and for left control left arrow key so this control and arrows key um, has a command in VBA which is known as end command and how to use it we can see that so I'm considering that from range a1 like from this particular cell I want to get to the bottom of this uh, fill data so here I'm typing range then a1 bracket close and then dot and I need to press end command now so I pressed end bracket start and here you can see there are four options and Excel down Excel to right uh, Excel to left Excel to right and Excel up so I want to go to the downwards so I have selected down dot select that's it I'm going to minimize this I'm going to run this so you can see I have reached to the down of this particular document which is up till the level of A174 now if I want to go to the right of this uh, particular document so what I need to do if uh, I need to go to the right this means I want to reach here so I have reached up to the level of down then again I am going to use the command active cell dot end excel to the right dot select so what it will do I am going to run this uh, step by step means with the help of F8 so I am going to press F8 so first it has went down then again F8 so you can see it has moved towards the right side now the similar command can be written in a single line also okay in order to demonstrate uh, this and in order to make things easy for you I am going to delete the rest of the data okay so here there are two lines and uh, rather than these two lines I can write a single line I am going to convert this into comment and I am going to write range a1 dot end excel down dot end excel to the right dot select and yes I can do that very easily and uh, now if I'm going to run this you can see first it will come down and till the right uh, so this is how you can make use of it now what is the use of this uh, we can use it uh, in, in order to have a selection or a dynamic selection you can say let's say there is no surety how much there is the data and uh, but I want to apply one particular formatting uh, into the complete fill data not the necessary blank cell uh, I want to apply that if I am uh, here if I am applying the formula that from A2 till A15 I want to format one particular data then uh, there can be a data where the uh, data has been filled up till the level of let's say A174 or maybe let's say A8 but it's going to fill up till the level of A15 only but if we can use the command of end then it's going to format or it's going to do the selection of that particular data only how let's see I'm typing range then the first cell reference I'm giving A2 and as a cell 2 I'm not going to type A15 rather I'm going to type range command 
and in range A2 and Excel down first bracket close for and Excel down second bracket close for this primary range command dot select so if I'm going to run here this particular command you can see only this much data has been selected if I want to do the selection of complete data uh, in Excel down I'm going to write another thing that is dot and Excel to write and that's it you can see the complete data has been selected however if I'm going to delete some of the data and if I'm going to run this particular function once again you will be able to see that it has not made an extra selection of cell it has made a selection of the data which is filled right now so this is one of the use there are many other ways we can use it another important function uh, in terms of cell properties is an offset uh, which we are going to understand in the next video thank you for watching have a nice day